In this video, we're going to learn how to multiply by numbers that end in zero. So here we have six times 50. So we're just going to multiply the non-zero numbers, which in this case is six and five. We get 30, and then we're just going to add on one more zero. So here we're going to do the same thing. The same pattern applies, but this time we're multiplying by 500. So we're going to multiply six times five, which is 30. And then we're just going to add on two more zeros. So we get 3,000. And again, just to show you the pattern, continue. Six times five is 30. And then you add on three more zeros. So now that you know the pattern, we can apply that to all of these. So 12 times three is 36. And then you just add one zero because we're multiplying by 30. Here, 12 times three is 36 but we're adding two zeros this time because we're multiplying by 300. And same thing here, 12 times three is 36, and then we're adding three zeros because it's 1,000. So again, same pattern, 30 times four, or you could say just multiply the non-zero numbers, which would be three times four is 12, and then add two zeros because you count up the number of zeros that you have in total, which would be 1,200. So again, we're going to say 3 times 4 is 12. And then you multiply by 1, 2, add on the three zeros. Again, we can say 3 times 4 is 12. And then you count up how many zeros you have. One, two, three, four. So you add on one, two, three, four zeros. So another way to think about it is you can say 30 times four is 120, and then add the three zeros. Okay, so here we have a much larger number that we're multiplying by a multiple of 10. So the same rule applies, but I have um, a little trick to show you that might help you in setting it up. So one thing you can do is write out your first number, which would be one, three, five, four. And you can take your number that has the zeros in it, put it on the bottom, and line it up just like this. And by doing that, you're setting yourself up to be able to handle all the zeros. So you can put, you take this zero and just bring it straight down. And then you're just multiplying 1,354 by 2. So 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 0. There's 1. And that would be 7. And that would be 2. We get 27,080. So again, you could do the same thing here. Now we know the pattern. So we're still multiplying and doing the same thing. We're multiplying this by two and then adding two zeros. So since the numbers are a little bit bigger, I find that this strategy can help in setting it up so you don't lose track of all your zeros. So I'm just gonna let my zeros dangle off the end. They're just hanging out there by themselves. So I'm just gonna bring them straight down just like that. And then I'm going to multiply my non-zero numbers. So again, I'm going to get the same thing. And just put your comma in the correct place. So finally, I'll set this one up for you just so you can see it. I'm going to take that 2,000. I'm going to scoot it over to the very end. Let all the zeros hang off the end all by themselves. Okay. 
And I'm just going to bring the zero straight down. And then I can just kind of put those to the side for a minute and leave those there. And then I'll multiply this just like I did before. And I'll end up, oh, goodness. with 2,708,000. So just remember to scoot that number with the zeros all the way down so all those zeros are hanging off the end and you're just multiplying the non-zero numbers. And that'll help you keep track of how many zeros should be in your product.